Thank you for choosing this session. My name is Daniel Pala, and I am a senior product manager at Extreme Networks. Welcome to the session where I will introduce the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine. Today's session has three major sections. The first section is focused on existing Extreme Cloud IQ customers. Where are the benefits for the existing customers using Extreme Cloud IQ and how the site engine can help them? The second section is focused on existing Extreme Management Center customers. What are the benefits for customers using Extreme Management Center today? And what is the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine from their point of view? And we have the short demonstration on the agenda also. Let me focus on existing customers using Extreme Cloud IQ first. Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine provides you with SNMP-based troubleshooting and monitoring of network devices. The SNMP is very old and very powerful and very universal protocol. The SNMP was not designed for the cloud to use. There is so much information available in the network devices through SNMP. Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine utilizes SNMP to gather and present a lot of very useful information from the network equipment. It simplifies network troubleshooting and network monitoring. With Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine, you can manage and monitor third-party devices of any vendor as long as those devices support Telnet or SSH and SNMP protocol. Information from third-party devices is gathered by Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine and presented to you in Extreme Cloud IQ in a consistent way that you are already familiar with. Application Analytics is a feature that gives you full visibility to the traffic passing through your network. You will understand what applications are running on your network, who is using them, and what is the response time for each application. Monitoring of the user experience is effortless with intuitive, customizable dashboards and with automatic reporting. You can easily identify shadow IT or see what applications are used in what location. As the Extreme Cloud IQ and Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine both use the same licensing model, it is very easy and straight. The same pilot license is used for devices managed by Extreme Cloud IQ and Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine. We do not charge you twice. One device is one license, simple and universal. The Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine provides you with an intuitive graphical way to easily automate network tasks. The workflow can be triggered by any event like threshold reached, syslog message, or threat received, or even a user action or external API call. The workflow can reconfigure the network or interact with third-party solutions. For example, if the reboot of the device is detected, then technical logs and details can be gathered and the help desk ticket can be created by the workflow itself. If a high CPU utilization is detected, then the workflow can automatically gather additional information about the running processes. The Extreme Cloud IQ site engine can change your 3 a.m. wake up call to 10 a.m. follow up. The Extreme Cloud IQ site engine supports new universal NAC licensing model where you can choose the right NAC engine based on features as the license model is now universal. The Extreme Cloud IQ site engine reports information gathered locally on premise to the Extreme Cloud IQ. The Extreme Cloud IQ provides you with a centralized view with visibility to your complete network, wired and wireless, edge to the data center, homogeneous or multi vendor. The Extreme Cloud IQ can monitor and manage your cloud native devices, either access points or switches or both. The Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine can monitor and manage all cloud native switches, non cloud native devices, and third party. Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine can be enhanced with analytics engines and access control engines, 
Those engines provide you with application analytics and access control features I already mentioned. Now let me focus on existing XC Management Center customers. I already mentioned the centralized view and the cloud native and your existing network devices. I mentioned the universal NAC licensing also. Those benefits are valid for Extreme Management Center customers too. If you transition from Extreme Management Center to the Extreme Cloud IQ side engine, then all NMS advanced features are unlocked automatically. It means workflows, APIs, reporting, connect module, fabric configuration. The device statistics and port utilization statistics are shared from Extreme Cloud IQ site engine to the Extreme Cloud IQ. In Extreme Cloud IQ, there is unlimited data horizon available. It means you will have the statistics available there as long as you need or want. And you do not need to provide a huge storage for those data in your local Extreme Cloud IQ site engine. The subscription licensing model does not have barriers. The model is linear. We are simplifying the licensing and allowing you to adapt to your business needs. The Extreme Analytics application analytics is not licensed or not limited in the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine. If you need to analyze more flows or more end systems, then just add resources. There is no additional cost for you. Both machine learning and artificial intelligence are some of the future enhancement that will be available for you in Extreme Cloud IQ. The Extreme Cloud IQ site engine is the evolution of Extreme Management Center. All features the Extreme Management Center provides to you today are available in Extreme Cloud IQ site engine also, including analytics, access control, fabric manager, guest and IoT manager. The Extreme Cloud IQ site engine can be characterized as a rebranded Extreme Management Center with new features and bug fixes and subscription and subscription model. From architecture point of view, there are two deployment models of Extreme Cloud IQ site engine. Air gap deployment, where the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine does not have internet access connectivity, and the deployment where the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine is integrated with Extreme Cloud IQ. That model gives you additional benefits I already mentioned. Now let me start the demonstration. What we see here is the Extreme Cloud IQ UI. Let's search for ERS device. ERS is non-cloud native device, so it will be reported by the site engine. And as you can see, there are many of them. Let's choose one. You see the information like CPU utilization, like memory utilization, uptime status, temperature, fan information, serial number, device type, model, all those details. If you click on the port, you get the details about the port, for example, VLAN, traffic counters, port speed, potentially there can be alarms, right? So very similar GUI experience as with cloud native devices. We can search for other type, for example, Catalyst. As you know, Catalyst is a third party. It's a multi-vendor management now. You see both of them available. And now let's use the port. And again, you see the details like counters. You see details like the port trunk mode and the port speed. Details about the device itself. OK, so let's look at alarms, for example. You can see there are alarms. They are reported by the site engine. And you see, for example, the fan direction issue on the ERS device. You see ISIS objectancies issues. You see some cold start, a reboot of the device, a link down, link up potentially. And also, there can be, for example, SNMP contact lost and information coming from the site engine. So in general, the same user experience for a cloud native and multi-vendor and non-cloud native. What we have here already is something which we call the Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine, and that's dashboard. So the most important information is on the screen. And then you can go to devices, for example, and let's search for uh, the Catalyst device again. We have it. Let's search where it is on the map. So let's go to maps and search. 
Now you see there is a map, you see there are two neighbors, you see the link details and that information. If it is needed or if you want, you can go to terminal and you can see the CLI access, you can get the CLI access, you can execute commands, you can do whatever you want with the CLI of the box. So for example, show VLAN will give you the information about VLAN. Please note, there is no VLAN 998 in the list. We will have the VLAN 998 in the later in the, in the uh, test, okay? We can go to device view to get more details, for example, about ports. So you see which ports are up, which ports are down, um, this one, for example, or the others. And we can also do right click and interface details, interface history to see the, uh, the historical information. So you see not much traffic there, but the interface availability is there, it's up, and the bandwidth is very low, very limited in this case. Okay, if we go to the port status, the current status, you see the information about the port and how long is the port in that current state. So this one is 53 days in down, this is in 53 days in up state. Of course, I can filter, I can export the information very easily. So let's filter for ports which are down. And just like this, you get the information, you can work with that. Temperature information is available. And of course, VLAN information is available also. Again, that's the current VLAN information in the device, so you see them. If I go to archives, you can see also the uh, configuration, which is archived from the box, from the device. And uh, if you compare, if you choose two, you can compare configurations. So then you will see what were the changes. So in this case, on the left, there is a current, and on the right, there is a historical uh, configuration. Okay. The next thing which I'd like to demonstrate is workflows. I was talking about workflows already, so let me uh, run some workflow. The workflow will synchronize the configuration from the site engine, the VLAN model, the VLAN templates, to the uh, device. So in this case, it is against the Catalyst device. You see the workflow is executed or still running. In this case, you see the progress. Now the workflow finished. Um, you see which activities uh, were uh, executed. And you see here the output. So for example, VLAN status, and then the VLAN 998 was created with the name and also the config was saved. So in this case, we can now verify the information from, uh, from the GUI point of view, how it looks like. If you go to VLANs, you see the VLAN 998 is now present, it's available. So just showing you and demonstrating um, some of the features of the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine connected with the Extreme Cloud IQ. So the same GUI, the same user experience. Thank you for watching.